Hi, so I know in the pencast we did some examples of um, expected value, but I wanted to do one more just because sometimes this is a difficult concept for students, so I wanted you to have one more example. So our question here says, suppose you pay $3 to roll a fair die with the understanding that you will get back $5 for rolling a 1 or a 6, nothing otherwise. What is your expected value? Okay, so this is a discrete random variable because when we're rolling our um, die, we can only get a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. So first of all, let's kind of set up our table. We've got two possibilities. Either we're going to win or we'll lose. Okay, so here we're going to put our um, amount that we'll win or we'll lose, and here we'll put our probability of that. Okay, now if we roll a 1 or a 6, then we win. And we're paying $3 and we're getting back $5, which means our winnings would be a total of $2, right? So if you think of kind of how much you made for the day, you gave them five, three, you get back five, you're ahead by two, okay? Now what's the probability of that happening? So this would be just kind of off to the side, the probability of one or six. So remember we use our addition rule since these would be disjoint and the probability of getting a one would be one over six plus the probability of getting a six would be one over six. So here we'd have two sixths, which reduces to one third. So we put one third here. Okay, now if we lose, we have lost our three dollars. So here, whenever we're losing, we're gonna do that a negative. So we'd have negative three dollars. And our probability there, since our probability of winning is one third, our probability of losing would be two thirds. So now, if we want to find our expected value, remember the expected value is the same as the mean. So you could do this in your calculator, put this in L1, this column in L2, and then, um, you know, I put a video in the notes about how to do this, but you do one var stats, L1, comma, L2 and I'll give it to you. Now, just with two columns and two, or sorry, two things in our columns, two rows, finding the mean isn't hard. We're going to do two times one third plus negative three times two thirds. So this would give us two times one third is two thirds. And then we'd have minus six thirds. Well, where the threes cancel out, this is like three over one. So minus two which again is six thirds, so we'd have minus four thirds. Um, so here, now as a decimal, since we're talking about money, this is easier, and four thirds would be negative 1.3 repeating. So we could say if we round to the nearest cent, we would expect to lose $1.33. Now, just a reminder, for every roll, of course, you only have the possibility of either winning money or losing money. There's n On one particular game, you're not going to lose $1.33. What this is saying, if you played many, 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 many games, it would average out to losing about $1.33 per game.